WWE are selling Titan Towers. We've got the backstage reaction to Joe Tessitore following his Raw debut, and an injured AEW star was backstage at last night's Dynamite. It's time for the news. WWE is intending to sell its former headquarters, the iconic Titan Towers out in Stanford on the east side. Uh, it has been listed uh, with subject to offer, so we don't know how much it's going for. It was valued um, a few years ago, uh, about $18 million. Basically, they've got no need for it anymore. Mm -hmm. Andrew, I'm, this part of me is a little bit sad. It's stupid. It's a building that I've never been in, that I don't own myself, but it's iconic, isn't it? Oh, well, that's it. It's iconic. We've seen it in so much imagery we've seen it in uh, i believe it was the the famous wwe advert where people are flying out yep. the windows all through the all through the uh, offices and corridors there it's an iconic piece of wwe history and and you're right it just feels weird because when you think of wwe headquarters i feel like you always associate to the one in stanford not like this new one or anything yeah. like that that that's the one that you think about i feel like uh, it's it's not a surprise that they're selling it they've got no need for it mm. anymore it makes total total sense but it's titan towers do you know what i mean so if you want to get your offers in you can do <laughs> it's a bit out of our price range unfortunately but if you want to sign up to patreon chuck us 18 million dollars we're off to Stanford. Go on there. You're off to Stanford. I'm, I'm stay just me, just oh, on my own. Just on his own. Oh, just yeah. on his own. That sounds good. Uh, anyway, uh, WWE are said to be thrilled with a current champion on the NXT roster. Just this weekend gone, uh, Roxanne Perez defeating Jada Parker, retaining her NXT Women's title. Afterwards, Julia making her long-awaited WWE or NXT debut. Fightful Select providing a little bit of an, uh, an update here. Yes, they uh, noting that WWE officials have been incredibly thrilled with Roxanne Perez's development as a heel character during her current reign. I'm not surprised. And you know what? I'm eating my words here because I yeah. wasn't sold on it at the beginning. I was like, ooh, I'm not sure this is going to work as a mm -hmm. heel run for her. I find her very, very likable. I think she's killed it. I think that's the thing, isn't it? Is there's always, I feel like, a little bit of worry when either a really good baby face becomes a heel and a really good heel becomes a baby face. There's always like, oh, are they going to be able to pull that off well? And I think she's done tremendously i really really do and and obviously she's got what it takes to back up stuff in the ring as well um i just can't wait to see that julia and, oh we're meant uh, to be talking about oh, no. <laughs> no. go on no i agree i think she's dropping the title to julia but i, I don't have a problem with that i'm just I excited think, to see that match yeah me like, too you know? I, I think uh, i think roxanne is a made woman i think yes. she's gonna yeah. really do well on the main roster mm -hmm. as well um you, you never know obviously with nxt and like the nxt the move to the main roster um, and it's a recent one, but like Lyra Valkyria, yes. for example, yeah. big in NXT. She's yep. come to the main roster. It's not been all that yet. You've got to give these things time yeah. and everything. Like she's still really great in the ring and everything, mm -hmm. but she didn't necessarily receive the push that I thought she was going to get well, um, getting, uh, after getting drafted. Yeah, I get, well, I mean, with the, the stuff with the, the queen of the ring, it felt like they were kind of like putting it into that That's role. True, yeah. And then they kind of like pulled back on it. Obviously, I think more just to be, just to showcase a look at this person that we've got coming up to the main roster now. And then maybe they sort of like pull back a little bit just to, you know, let, her develop a little bit more on there before hopefully going on to be pushed again in a in a big fashion and you would hope something like that for Roxanne too for sure yeah I think it's taking a little bit of time with Lyra for mm. fans to connect with that character maybe it needs a little bit of a tweak I think Roxanne she's like there I, th yeah. I think you put that on the main roster yeah and it gets over uh, speaking of hot young talent <laughs> uh, Joe Tessitore making his WWE Raw debut it wasn't without incident this week there are a few flubs uh, he got Dakota Kai and Kyrie Sane mixed up um, and he all of a sudden believed that Damien Priest and Rhea Ripley were previously part of the Hurt business. I didn't notice them in there, but nope. they might have been uh, rather than Judgment Day. Um, <laughs> overall, though, I think fans have been pretty complimentary. Yeah. I think the thing that he's, he's shown <laughs> is that... Yeah, he's got stuff to learn. He needs to be doing his homework, right? Yes. He needs to be going home and studying some WWE mm -hmm. Raw. Uh, but I think the passion was there. That's it. Uh, and I find him a very likable man. Um, according to a report from Sean Rossap of Fightful, uh, the company was satisfied with his debut, thought he sounded great while on air. Teething mm -hmm. problems are going to happen, especially when you bring in somebody from outside of WWE. It's to be expected. But what did you yeah. think of him? I thought, he, uh, yeah, again, I thought it was good outside of the little hiccups here and there. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> his logic was brilliant because usually, <clears throat> excuse me, when you get uh, when you get someone who's got a hood up, uh, who comes out and they're like, who could that be? Who could that very tall, very stocky person be? And uh, Tessa Toll was like, that's Drew McIntyre, and I'll do that. I actually quite, I quite liked, liked that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because, because for so long, like you do get those unmaskings or big hood reveals and all that sort of stuff, and all the wrestling fans at home know exactly yeah, who exactly. it is, especially so with Drew nice. McIntyre. Yeah. So it sort of it didn't insult our intelligence. No, I no. don't think it was intentional. I think no. you, I think <laughs> he was meant to go. Who's that? Yeah. But no, no, I thought he was decent. I'm excited to see what he does in the future. Yes. I'm really optimistic yeah. about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, a missing AEW star uh, backstage at Dynamite. He's been missing from TV for some time. Powerhouse Hobbs was at last night's Dynamite tapings. He'd been out of action since rehabbing a leg injury. Hasn't wrestled in almost four and a half months. Yeah. I'm excited to see him come back proper. Yes. Um, ah, it's been stop start. Uh, yeah, to say the least. It feels like for for quite a few sort of of the of, of the stars that it feels like AEW have been trying to push into positions, and then yeah, you're right. Stop, start. Injuries happen, or things happen that just takes them off TV for for a while. Um, Powerhouse Hobbs is one of those people who just feels like they should. They're just a natural champion. They've got it. They've got it all. They've got it all. I feel like his his promo work grew really exponentially he's a lot better well. than he was yeah he's, yeah. Not, he's not half bad no for sure and um, yeah I just I can't wait to see him back I'm looking forward to it as well I mean he had offers from WWE so he was originally he had a couple of tryouts I think it was for WWE they didn't offer him a developmental deal and then he went to AEW all of a sudden they became interested but he did opt to re-sign with AEW so he's there for the foreseeable future um, I'm not necessarily going to sit here and go oh man he's a main event, event star mm -hmm. in the making but I think he's solid he could be a really solid mid-card champ as we've yeah. seen um I'm looking forward to seeing him back. Yeah, uh, me we, too. we finish off with the news that a new TNA signing has been revealed by one Mike Johnson, a PW oh. Insider, who has reported that Heather Reckless has either already been signed or is about to be signed by TNA. She made her debut back in June. She had a quick loss, jobbed out to uh, Ash by Elegance, um, but then she was booked again, received a little push during the uh, post emergence TV tapings, um, and she has been wrestling since 2019. Oh. Uh, she actually, she trained at the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, which is Marek Black and Seth Rollins, Tyler Black. Um, so she's she's decent. I I, mm -hmm. I wasn't really familiar with her and I saw the TNA mm -hmm. match, so I went YouTube, checked out some of her other stuff. I really thought her promos were decent. She yeah. was very natural in her promo ability. Mm -hmm. And in the ring, she's solid as well. I think she's a decent get for TNA. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with her either, but just the fact that, and we see this a lot with this, with people from, from NXT as well, the fact that these people have been wrestling for only since 2019, and they're already being put into these positions and they're starting, you know, to, to be signed to these companies and everything as well. It's a testament to to how good they are as athletes and then also just how good, you know, the 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 generation now, your Seth Rollins and everybody like that are just training up the, the new ones and, and doing such a really good job of it as well. It's got to be cool, isn't it? If you're yeah. running a wrestling school and somebody five years from their pro oh, yeah. debut or sort of from when they started training, in fact, five years on, they're getting signed by a big company mm -hmm. like TNA. Yeah. That's got to feel pretty nice. Absolutely. Hasn't it? So lovely stuff. Best of luck to Heather Reckless. Uh, there's loads on the channel this week. We've had three pay-per-views on the trot. It's the last one of the three this weekend. AEW All Out. You can watch pictures right now, predictions in just a few hours, and then you can join uh, the live stream as well live stream reactions happening so make sure you check that out um, and have a brilliant weekend have a lovely yeah. time of it Do take it. care of yourselves all the best in a bit <laughs>